Hello HTS lovers! If you remember previously, I've already shared with you again where at 2018 Pro Chess League, Magnus Carlsen opened up with A3 in a game against Christian Hall. But here is another game where this time Carlsen tries this Anderson opening against Grishuk himself. Moreover, he goes for this crazy move at 2010 World Blitz Championship. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at that game. As I've already mentioned, this is called Andersen Opening and is named after German chess master Adolf Andersen, who went for it several times in a match against Paul Morphy. Despite the fact that the opening is named after Andersen, interestingly, I checked up in the database and it turns out that it was Lionel Kizaritsky who first played this opening. Anyways, without further ado now, let's get started with this game. So Carlsen opened up with A3, to which Grishuk responded with knight f6. Honestly, I tried to find the video of this game but failed and I would have liked to see Grishuk's reaction when he saw a3. And to knight f6, Carlsen answered with f4. So he goes for bird opening with pawn on a3, uh, g6, knight f3, bishop g7, Black is instantly fianchettoing his kingside bishop. Otherwise, when white is playing bishop d2, the bishop is later putting a very useful pressure on black's kingside. That's why we have kingside fianchetto by Grishuk himself, and here he castled kingside. Bishop g2, b6, d3, d5, white castled kingside, and this time Grishuk fianchettoed his second bishop, queen e2. Meanwhile, white is preparing e4 advancement, a very important move with which white is freeing his position. Knight c6, of course, move like knight g4 is not dangerous. White has e3 move. That's why in our game we have knight c6 and e4. d takes e4, d takes e4, knight d4. Well, instead of playing knight d4, playing e5 and weakening white's pawn structure is better, this is a more ambitious try with the idea of if f takes e5 then knight g4. But in our game after d takes e4 we have knight d4. Knight takes d4, queen takes d4 check, king h1, rook d8. Still it was not too late to go for e5, although in this case it's not as strong as on move 11. Now if f5 then black can activate his bishop with bishop a6. But in our game we have rook d8 by Grishuk, e5, after which we have the exchange of light squared bishops, queen d5 check, knight f3, knight e8, and at this point already we have a total equality, bishop e3, knight c7, rook d1, queen c6, of course going for exchanges could allow white to gain the control over the d file, that's why in our game after rook d1 we have queen c6, queen e2, knight e6, bishop f2, b5, and c3. Yeah, well, all in all we have an equal game, nothing special. White is unpinning his knight, c4, rook e1, h5, rook d2. After which finally we have the exchange of rooks. Oops, Carlsen recaptured with a knight, rook d8. Queen e4, yes, this time he's offering the exchange of queens and we have it on d5 square. Knight e4, a4, king g2, black is controlling the d file, but there is no way to make use of it and make a progress. Bishop e3, f6, knight f2, attacking the rook, freeing the e4 square for the king, rook goes back on d7, king e4, f5, check, king f3, yeah, we have a total equality nothing special and after knight c7 we have bishop c5 rook d2 rook e2 and the rooks are also gone knight d5 knight d1 king e8 and then the exchange of knights follows and soon the players agreed to a draw this is how it goes carlson is locking up the king side as well and then after bishop e7 bishop h6 we have a draw because there's just no way to make a progress with the white pieces black will just move around with his bishop and this is a draw so what are the conclusions from the opening white didn't get anything but on the other hand black failed to 
make use of White's dubious opening choice and get an initiative. Meanwhile, in the end, let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to find the winning move for White. It's White to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. In the end, here are more suggestions for you. Feel free to check out the playlist of Carson's best games and I will see you in my next video. Take care.